Now with us on the phone is Glenn Oakley, an eyewitness to the El Paso shooting. He was in the mall, ran to leave, and saw kids without their parents who were scared and alone. He picked up as many as he could and carried them to safety. How many was that, Glenn? Any idea? Um, it, was about, it was about a total of about 11 to 13, but I can only get about four to five. Yeah. And when you say young kids, how, how old are we talking? Uh, I'd say about five to seven. Wow. They were separated from their parents or they were just doing a little shopping on their own in, in what most parents would consider to be a, a very safe place? Um, no, they were on their own because uh, like most malls, they have those, you know, those little play pins that kids just be playing in. Yep. It was like one of those type of thing. So how did you know? I mean, what, what, what crossed your mind? Did you, did you see the gunman? You just heard the shots. How did you know uh, that this was an active shooting situation? <clears throat> well, uh, <clears throat> I was in another store in a, a sports store. I was buying a Jersey and, uh, a little kid ran in there and was like, um, it's an active shooter at Walmart. But me and the guy at the register, we didn't pay it no mind because, for one, he's just a little kid. And for two, you're inside the mall and not Walmart, so how would you know? So I didn't pay it no mind. So I had, um, I walked to Foot Locker, and uh, that's when I heard the gunshots. And I, I'm, I'm in the military, and I also have my, uh, my license to carry. So, uh, you know, being in the military, you just instantly think fast. We're, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to think fast, grab your weapon take cover, get whoever you can, and, you know, just um, getting cover away from the enemy or whatever. So we're in Foot Locker or by Foot Locker, and uh, I just see some people running out of Foot Locker because they didn't want to stand there, so they tried to make it through dealers and uh, and make it to the parking lot. So I'm thinking I'm the only one with a weapon legally, so I run with them because, you know, in case they get in, in, if, in case they come across some something harm that'll harm them, I, you know, I could be there to protect them, but... Um, while we're running towards dealers, we run past the playpen, and uh, you can. Uh, I see a whole bunch of kids running, so I just I grab as many as possible, and I, I try to get a couple others to help me. But you know they're so scared and terrified, they just thinking about the stuff. They just keep running, so I just stopped and I grabbed as many as I could possible, and I brought them with me. Well, we are all grateful for that, and I'm sure their parents are as well. Um, so, so you are licensed to carry. You're a, you're a member of the military. Which branch, by the way? Uh, I'm in the Army. It's also registered in my name. Every weapon I have is registered. Yeah. Um, so, you, so you're licensed to carry, and you actually had a weapon on you at the time. Um, if, But you did not see the gunman, correct? No, I, I didn't. I mean, I just did now, like, on the Internet and stuff. But during that time, no, I, I didn't. Yeah. Because the, the shooting apparently did start in the Walmart, and then he somehow made his way over to the mall. At least that's what... Uh, the early information is from police. Again, we're expecting to get um, a news conference from local authorities about half an hour from now. We'll go there live when that takes place. Um, mm -hmm. get, just kind of wrap up your thoughts for us, Glenn. I mean, you're there to buy a jersey, and all of a sudden gunshots and pandemonium break out, and, and you wind up rescuing a bunch of children. What's going through your mind tonight? Um, the only thing I could think of is, uh, I was putting the babies before myself because I just thought about, um, if I had a child and if, if I wasn't around my child, how I would want another man to react if they see my child running around without, you know, without me around. So I just stopped, stopped fast and I just grabbed as many as possible. Are you, um, originally from El Paso or you just deployed no, there? Um, based no, there? I'm, um, I'm, I'm from Killeen, Texas. Killeen, Texas. Home of Fort Hood. Yes. Well, yes, um, correct. My parent, my parents are a former uh, military. They retired. Ah, well, Glenn, we thank you for your service. We thank you for doing what you did today to to try to put the the minds of those little kids at ease. Um, grabbing six or seven kids is uh, no small feat, and we appreciate it. We know their parents do, and we thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, it's no problem. That's what I'm. That's what I'm supposed to do. All right. Glenn Oakley, member of the U.S. military who was in the mall when the shots rang out. He was armed and he was uh, prepared to use his weapon, he says, if he needed to. But he saw all those kids who were panicking and afraid, and he helped them get to safety. That is the kind of thing that our military does. And Glenn Oakley, good for you.